Hi, I'm Samantha Cox Parra for Cal TV Entertainment here at the Excise Press Line at the 2017 Sundance Film Festival in Park City, Utah. Come check it out. Listen, you gotta eat something. It's been three days, buddy. I'm not hungry. Maybe it's cursed. We created XX because there was a um, um, a lack of opportunities for women in the horror in, in the film industry, and particularly in the horror genre. So we created this to to make more jobs for women, and to set and to set an example for future women filmmakers. I'm wondering what initially drew you to the genre. I've been a horror fan my entire life, ever since I was a little girl. Um, I had childhood insomnia and I just stayed up all night watching horror films. And then when I grew up and became an adult, I pursued a career um, in the, the genre. There's this quote I always like to bring up from Alien 3, when L Lieutenant Ripley says um, to the monster, I, I've, uh, you've been in my life so long I can't remember anything else. That's kind of how I feel about horror. <laughs> What's in the box? Present. Can I see? Danny, stop being so nosy. It's OK. Your section, The Box, was based off of a story by Jack Ketchum. Yes. What was it like adapting his story to your film? Uh, well, I read The Box years ago when Peaceable Kingdom first came out and it always stood out to me because Jack Ketchum was known for doing like splatter fiction and here he had this like weird little um, existential horror story and um, I just saw it as my opportunity to do an episode of The Twilight Zone. How did you approach working with children for this film? I think kid actors nowadays are total professionals. They want to be treated like professionals. You, I treated them just like I did the adults. I had, you know, expectations of them, and they, kids bring it nowadays. What were your favorite behind-the-scenes moments? My favorite moment was I was trying to get into the into it, you know. And I asked Angela, I was like, what are you doing? Because she had these headphones. And then she was like, oh, I'm listening to like scary movie soundtracks. <laughs> so I started listening to scary movie soundtracks, you know, all it night. Works. Yeah, we're like middle of the night in the woods and I'm listening to like the Halloween soundtrack and stuff. Yeah, I, I always it. have headphones in. I'm great. always listening to, it's, yeah, it works nice for a reason. So. Yeah. Oh, dang. Yeah. What inspiration did you have for scoring this piece? Oh, good question. Um, so because it kind of deals with like, slow death and starvation and it sounds awful but um, so I worked in London England with this amazing restored pipe organ from 1877 mm -hmm. sort of kind of from the bowels almost like um, you know grumbling uh, pains of, of hunger really um, and sort of breathy I use my voice a bit as well for these really eerie uncomfortable sounds so you know slow dying breath really from starvation. So what advice would you give to young women filmmakers? Uh, keep keep going when you're going through hell, keep going. I think that's a Winston Churchill quote, but very fitting, especially in this current political climate.